Hi everyone, it's Amy, and for today's video, welcome to the one year anniversary week. So, if you didn't know and you're new here, hi, my name's Amy, and today is my dog's birthday. If you haven't seen my last video, so basically it's a video called Making My Dog a Three Course Meal, and in that video I said it's my dog's birthday, I believe, and the day I was recording that video was actually my dog's birthday. But, the day I posted it was not in fact my dog's birthday. So today is August 24th, 2021, which means my dog, Kuma, if you have not seen him, is three today. So I wanted to make this extra special, and instead of making a three course meal, I'm making some dog cakes. That sounds wrong. Dog cupcakes, cupcakes. So I have a recipe from Recipe 10 Eats. If you would like to see the recipe, it'll, I'll put it down in the description below. And basically, it, it's pretty simple. It's good for dogs, I've seen it, and there's no sugar involved. There's nothing bad, I believe, that it could be bad for dogs. So, everything's good. So don't judge me in the comments for giving this to my dog. And also, I'm not gonna give him all the cupcakes, I'm just gonna give them one. Maybe half of one, I don't know. So, we will start off by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. 350 degrees, and let me turn the light on because I wanna see what's going on inside, even though there's nothing in there. I have two bananas and I'm gonna put them in a bowl and mash them with a potato masher until smooth as you can get it. Inside scoop for you. Basically, I didn't have any ripe bananas, but I had frozen bananas. So I hope it's the same thing. Maybe. This isn't going well. Okay, that's one. I hope it tastes better than it looks right now. And we are done. So now I'm gonna mash them. So let me wash my hands. So here is a potato masher. And can you see that? Okay. So if you're new to my channel, hello. My name's Amy and I started a year ago. And so, add peanut butter, honey, and eggs. So, I finished mashing up these bananas. I almost said potatoes. Now we add the peanut butter, honey, and eggs. So, I have the peanut butter and I have the eggs, but I'm not gonna use honey because I don't want to sweeten it because I'm scared that it's gonna have like too much sugar or it's gonna be too sweet. So, a half a cup of peanut butter. Um, so. Back to my story, my name's Amy. I started August 25th, 2020 on my YouTube channel. And I was like, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel because I want to be cool. And also, if you didn't know, I'm very antisocial. Uh, I'm pretty sure you would say, Amy, that's not true. You're, you look very social. And that, I'm sorry, is a lie because I am not very social. Don't have that many friends. Don't, I'm scared to talk to people. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know what to talk to you about, but okay, let's try to have a conversation. And I don't know how to do that. And I was like, why not make a YouTube channel where I can make videos that I want to do and explore my fun side because I am an only child. I am very closed off and don't do that many things. So why not have a channel where I can do things that I would love to do if I had the time? So, okay, peanut butter goes in here. Also, I'm using a Jif's Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. So it contains 90% of peanuts. Uh, eggs, so we put in two. So one, and let's pack the, oops, I went over my phone. I, Everything's fine. I'll do this one one-handed because I'm pretty amazing. Okay. One-handed. Wow, why does it always end up like that? Whisk well until smooth. So I'm gonna mix well until smooth. I'm gonna use a whisk because I feel like that's more efficient than whatever I'm doing with a, with a spatula. So whisk. flour, baking powder, oil, and water. Whisk until smooth. This is going to be delicious. A cup and a half. The half a cup is full of peanut butter, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So, it's gonna be very interesting. 
So this is gonna have to make do. So a cup and a half. Oh, I'm gonna have to, good thing I came prepared, baby. So I'm gonna get another measuring cup. So I get the half cup. Oh, that's so satisfying, look at that. And there you go. Half and then two and a half tablespoons of baking powder. Teaspoons, oh my God, that would have been so bad. Say it with me. Two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, and then the half. There we go. Oh, and uh, oil, a, half, a fourth cup of oil, so. Okay, that's a lot of oil. Fourth cup, okay. How much water? Three fourths cup. One, two, three. So we got three fourths cup of water. I think that's everything. So now whisk until smooth. So that was all the cupcake batter that we have to do and now we mix it. Divide between cupcakes, okay. So here are the cupcake linen thingies that I have to put them in. Okay, I'll use the fourth cup measuring because that's usually what people do, right? So I don't know if I finished telling my story. I wanted to do something that was fun for everyone. And this is kind of fun for me because I love doing things for other people and I love doing stuff for my dog because I love him so much. Three fourths full, is that three fourths full? I feel like that's too full. This video is probably not gonna be that long because I'm not saying that much. I just love baking that sometimes I just forget to say stuff. And I'm so sorry for my OCD people um, that I have one blue one. If you clicked off this video because you saw that, I am so sorry. I literally only had 11. Wow, okay, so I'm very surprised. I used all of the whole thing. Like, look at that. Usually sometimes you, I don't use the whole batter and I end up doing like a mini cake with a mini like little cake pan thing. So it finishing off like this, I'm kind of surprised. Props to them for that. Okay, so that was it. Now uh, bake for 22 minutes until the top is golden or skewers come out clean. Let's pop these bad boys in. Oh, this is a lot, it's a lot. I, it's a hot. And I'll wait 22 minutes. I got a stick pokey thingy to poke it to see if it's good already or not. And look at that, guys, it's clean. So, now we're gonna pull this out of the oven. They look like scones. Um, so, I'm impatient, so there's two options. Waiting for them to cool down, which will probably take about like 30 minutes to an hour, or pop them out right now, put them in a freezer or a fridge. I'm gonna choose the second one. So, I have a, I have a one of these, a plastic thing. This one looks pretty good, so I'm gonna take this one out. I wanna use my finger, but it's probably gonna burn me. No, don't flip over, don't. Everything's fine. One down, okay. Okay, there we go, we got two down. Should it be like Cupcake Wars where I like put three and like decorate them different ways? I'm very indecisive when it comes to making decisions. Everything's fine. So I chose the blue one so it could be like a middle and now it looks perfect. I'm gonna put these in the fridge and um, I'll go back to you. Okay, so I finished making the cupcakes and I put the peanut butter and the biscuit on top and look how cute they are. Honestly, they turned out better than I thought they would. So here they are right now. It's a little close up and I definitely did this on purpose because there's three cupcakes and he is three, so this is definitely on purpose. And now let's give this to Kuma. Hi, so I have my dog with me. This is Kuma and I have the cupcakes here. So, I'm scared he's gonna want them right now. Wait, okay. So, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Akuma, happy birthday to you, and you're three. I don't know how much he's gonna want, so I'm just gonna put this one over here. They look pretty good, honestly. I feel like I wanna eat one just to try it, because I mean, it's good for people, too. You can bite it. Yeah, bite it. Okay, I'm not gonna give him that much because I feel like it's bad for stomach. Tiny, not the paper, not the paper. Okay, so, I hope you like this video. Yep, okay, there's a lot of crumbs. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a like, 
or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I mean, you get some pretty good content like this. So I would subscribe if I were you, but again, I'm not forcing you to do it. But I would very much appreciate if you did. And so would Kuma, because it's his birthday, like currently, right now. And I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.